Hello everybody, my name is Bubble Zest and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video we're going to be doing a guide to the achievement, at least they run on time. Okay, this isn't the hardest achievement, we could literally just sit around and do nothing and we'd get it. So while we're going to be aiming for that achievement, we're also going to see if the old guide to do Snoop the New World Order still holds up. So we're going to be testing those strats too. So let's begin, shall we? Four research slots, great. Electronics, industry and support weapons, I think is the way to go. Always nice, but well, hmm, should we grab anti-tank? Yeah, probably eventually, but not now. Anyway, sieves. You know what sieves means? More sieves. Always nice. I'm kidding. <laughs> Got you there. Anyway, more mills for now, because mills are one of the things we lack. So, this is alright for our industry, but hmm, let's get some trains, ironically enough, and hmm, artillery and anti-air. Anyway, let's dump these ships for now. They're alright, but we can do better. So we're just going to spam five dockyards onto this very basic 1936 sub into the biggest fleet, and the rest will be convoys. Speaking of the navy, let's just gather it all up under one fleet for now. There you go, we'll move that around later, but for now, you, you'll take the commission. For the remaining mills, all into guns, I think. Could probably shift this around, but for now, guns, 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 guns. Anyway, for the units, a down in Eritrea and Ethiopia, we'll grab these 14, put them here, and grab these four, and put them here. Make sure you actually assign them, or they will actually go to Eritrea. So we'll give them a front line, and give them a front line. Unsurprisingly, like most Italian players, we're going to be grinding a general, because most of our generals aren't good. The best one, unsurprisingly, is Messi, because war hero, armor officer, good attack, and so he's going to be grinding. Just use aggressive and have him smash against his head so he gets at least organizer and infantry leader. Anyway, for the remaining 21 units, we're just going to put them on a fallback line for now. Don't need them, pretty much. As well, make sure we have an intel agency. I think the cipher we're going to aim for is Britain's cipher. Right, we now have 59 political power, and we're going to just find the Duchess Indies, who is led by Sakano, weirdly enough. Anyway, any state will do, and there we go. And now we can do a focus without having to wait. We're not going to do Ethiopian war logistics, I almost forgot about it, but we're going to release Somalia and Eritrea as our puppets, so that we don't have to do Ethiopian war logistics. We can now completely bypass it. Industrial effort, army primacy, do it your leisure, but for now I'm going to do industrial and industrial too. Oh yes, it also breaks our front lines, but oh well, doesn't really matter. We have quite some time before it needs matter. We have until September, so oh well. And there goes Ethiopia. Anyway, let's just puppet them. No need to garrison them. There you go. Italian East Africa. Nice. Didn't get as much XP, but oh well. We got the traits that we wanted, so unsurprisingly messy. We're going to become our field marshal. The less time he has recently promoted, the better. There he goes. Nice job there. <laughs> and obviously given traits like just exploited offensive, charismatic, as he gets more command power. Anyway, next step, join Germany. There we go. And now we're going to, out of this army here, which remained in Italy the whole time, we're going to grab 10 divisions, including the motorized, the... Mm, shall we use the mountaineers? Oh, why not? And two infantry, because we are going to be naval invading the Netherlands. But anyway, go from Wilhelmshaven and send your units. Send the biggest units, though, to Rotterdam. That's usually where they defend their tiles. So something like this will do. We're probably going to get memed on a little bit, but that's why for AI for you. Anyway, send the navy to Wilhelmshaven to support, unsurprisingly. And um, we'll just prepare for the naval invasion. Anyway, we now need to change... Italy's infantry template because it is rubbish. So we're going to start with just a 20 width block. Not great, not the best, but we'll have to take it. There we go. Hmm. Italy's tanks aren't the best either, but we don't really have enough XP to change them. So, like, we can change probably something like this, which takes up most of our XP, and we still have cavalry in it. We'll definitely change our template around. We'll hire some inferiors and get more XP. The SCW is very and we're going to send volunteers, specifically just air volunteers, because why not? But if you really want ARXP, unlike ACES, it's the tax that will do it the best. Just highlight at this point, we'll make this the maximum we're allowed, which is 145. Dismantle 1, so it fills up, we don't have any spare. And send these in. 
So we're just going to break these up into four slightly smaller wings so I can spread them out again. And as you can see, most importantly, the air XP is going up. I swear army morale used to give division recovery rate, but whatever. Non-supply, out-of-supply penalties? Nice. More XP though. <laughs> anyway, our justification is ready. Let's declare on the DEI how your navy and strike force in the relevant sea zones. Shouldn't be the hardest war. The Dutch are spread out, far apart, and you have Germany to pay you out, as every Italian should. Huh, Rotterdam is empty. Well, I stand corrected, but I can assure you in my practice game it wasn't. And there you go, that's the end it already. Just need one pause. There we go. Well, can't complain about something being easy, can ya? So, for the peace deal, unsurprisingly, we're going to puppet the DEI, take Suriname and Curacao. Though, after this, what happens next is honestly up to you if you want to directly take the Netherlands. There is a fair argument to that, but I think puppeting them will be better for us for the extra factories. But anyway, whoops, accidentally puppeted them. Anyway, next step of the plan, let's just wait one day. We're going to justify on someone. Who are we going to justify on? Panama. Why Panama? There we go, just 3% world tension. You could also justify on any of the other Central American countries though. See 2% for Nicaragua, but it's 3% for the democratic countries. So you know what? Stand corrected. You know what? Just because slightly lower world tension. There we go. Sorry Nicaragua, nothing personal you know. Anyway, next step of the plan, we need more units. While I begin to change this tank division around, we need to get up to 72 units, so we need around 33 infantry for now. So spam those out, max priority, make sure they're level 3. But we're also going to make a slightly different template, dupe, artillery, so 21 width. We'll have some of the units that we actually use to invade with use that template, as that's a slightly better template for invasions. I've seen that similarly with like the 9 ones we used to do in older guides. So that's what we're going to work with in some regard, but we'll keep things like the tanks around, but things like the cavalry and probably the, unfortunately, the mountaineers, they probably have to go. But anyway, as I say, reorganize your army at this point. Anyway, the navy can now go to Curacao, they need to be there, but we're not going to send our units there until a month or so before the invasion, just so that we don't have them supply themselves to death. But we are going to... I'm curious about using a little strat I know, so I'm going to build an extra hmm, supply hub <laughs> in Suriname here. I know there's already a naval base, but two could be interesting. We'll try and make this tank division as big as we can make it, but considering I accidentally put more motorised in than I needed to, I think I might have already screwed it up. Anyway, you're probably dying to know how this naval invasion is going to go, so let's do the naval invasion plan now. We're going to be hitting the New Orleans area, something like Mobile and all these little, little ports around here. The US will obviously be defending them, but as long as we get one or two of them, we'll be fine. So we'll go from New Orleans and so on. Obviously use the infantry, especially use something like this infantry, to take the ports, but have something like maybe the tanks to support them on the side. And there you go, there's the naval invasion we're gonna go with. Not the best, not the worst. I'm also going to see if the naval invasion exploit can work, so where we can bypass the limits for this. So we're just going to plan some other naval invasion into like Florida, to the port. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Slightly reorganised production for slightly more tanks, artillery and support equipment. Long term goal here, so we're going to do it now. Extensive. Right, let's send the units over. So these ones will go to this port in Suriname. And the one will actually go to the capital of Suriname. Yeah, they're electrician, but they kind of have to be there. I think we'll get a blip of supremacy and nothing more, so we'll be on strike force in all relevant sea zones, except the Saracen Sea, which we don't need. As long as we leave, we'll be fine. Anyway, justification is ready, so we declare, take the speed down, and there we go. So, when is the US called in? There they go. Now for the other invasion, let's see if this little trick still works. So we're going to delete all these other invasions. And then we're going to control assign to the next one. And do they leave? Yep, they... Oh, ten of them leave. Not bad. And we'll do the same for the other army. There we go.
And it's over. We pretty much destroyed everything they had. Good. That worked out well. I mean, I lost two tanks, but that was my only competence rather than the AI in some regards. So let's just create some puppets. You know, even the Philippines. Puppets, puppets, puppets. And... There you go, the free American... Well, that didn't last long. Anyway, next step is to take down the Allies, which should not be hard at all. We'll, one, we build a few, few more tanks, make them, I don't know, 30 width, and then we'll get to 120 units and go after the Allies. The Allies definitely can't stop us with the US's economy behind it. So, you know, train up two tanks. We can definitely build that many now. But again, 120 units, we'll use some from our puppets, some that we make, doesn't matter. But for now, literally, we just need to take down Nicaragua, which will not be hard. We'll invade partially through the Panama Canal and partially into this little state here. So, you know what, let's quickly get that out of the way as well. And there they go. Just a puppet today, just a puppet. Liberal Nationalist Nicaragua, of course it is. And yes, I'm sticking with Grand Battle Plan because I'm crazy. Anyway, we'll wait for these little units to get trained up and we should be fine. Next step is just that, building up and waiting. But things like obviously helping Spain and whatever are still not a bad idea. Hmm, we need someone to justify on. You know what? Norway. I, I point to Denmark. Denmark was the one I had in mind though. Very well. And they'll get guaranteed sooner or later. And by that I mean literally the next day. Could have justified sooner, could have justified later, so... Whatever. Anyway, our units will be ready in April, so that's good. Especially the tanks, which will take a little longer. But they're the ones that need to get to April. These extra 48 have specific purposes, so like... This 4th army will defend on the border against France. While the other army will be in Africa to distract the AI further. The more distracted the AI is, the less they will hopefully defend themselves when we naval invade them. So that's going to be hard. But on the same vein, this army will be things like Suriname, Curacao, and anything else we want to defend. And there's our tanks. Good. Now we'll plan our invasion, which probably won't involve them until the second phase of it. So pre-step back, we would have done this something on the lines of Hull and whatever. But what I've noticed, though, the UK AI is actually quite bad at defending Dover and London itself. So contrary to the sensible option, we're going to go straight through the channel. We're going to hit the UK first, then France. So we're going to have mm, a few units to take these ports, and that's about it. So the first time we'll go to Wilhelmshaven, the next one we'll go to Hamburg, and the other one will go to Hamburg. <laughs> so I realise we probably could have invaded from the Dutch, but at this point it's too late. But oh well, keep that in mind, you probably could have invaded from Rotterdam. Anyway, the justification is ready, so let's go. We declared. And we've managed to leave port immediately. Unsurprising, but that's good. I should note also we have the UK Cypher ready to break, so we have plenty of bonuses coming our way. This won't be the easiest invasion, but it won't be the hardest either. Well, that was stupid, but whatever. That worked out, I suppose. Kind of got memed by the AI, but ultimately both of them fell. So, whatever. I'm not one to complain about a success, ultimately. Take what you want, puppet what you want, it doesn't necessarily matter. I don't know, maybe you can do the Italian Irredentist claims or something. 113 states. We puppeted the Icelandics, the Danish, the British, the Malayans, the Raj, and France. 
<laughs> anyway, but Nez is now the lead of the Allies. Interesting. Meanwhile, during that, you know what I did? I took over the Axis. Yep. Got so much of a good industry and military. The Axis is now green. And while the Allies are now very blue. See this justification? I think that's Germany somehow demanding Sudetenland. Don't know how that's my problem, though. No, really, I don't. <laughs> Does that mean I'm going to get the decision for Sudeten? Because that would be really funny. Group for two are now 14 fours. Why? Because I don't like having good equipment stockpiles. I do, but that was kind of a mistake. But whatever. Oh my. Germany declared on the checks. This presents opportunity. Do I dare? Now, because of this unique situation, yes, we could kick Germany out, invade them, and then fall very quickly. But in my practice games, I can tell you that Germany has an unusual tendency to join the Chinese United Front. Legit don't know why. Honestly don't, and I am not willing to see that again. That was a... A very fun game when that happened. So we're just going to toe the line for now. I, mean, I think we could just finally start building these mills. And just start working on... There you go. Railways, railways, railways. I don't actually know what counts for this achievement. So I'm just going to max everything that we have. I'm sure someone could tell them, No, you just need one here. And I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to do what I think will get the achievement at this point. Hi everyone, Bubbles here in post. I just want to point out, from what I can see, to get the achievement, what you actually need is just one level 5 railway in each Italian core states. There are some shenanigans related to this, but I don't think you need full max railways in each Italian state. The whole point, though, of all these invasions was to give us a lot of sibs to make it a lot easier to build these railways. I'm sure you've got that by now, but I just wanted to iterate it. Anyway, back to the live session. I feel like... The Lord Stanley is at the Battle of Bosworth. We are sitting, waiting for the moment to right, to be right to, for us to pick our victor. Because it's clear that we can change the tide of this at any time. Wait a minute, Germany encircled now. <laughs> Germany got outplayed by the Czech AI. Well, before they go, the Czechs managed to take down WoW just 38k. I mean, that encirclement was legendary, but... You did your best. And there we go. We got it. Right down there. At least they run on time. You know what? We're going to call it here. Now, yes, I did say this was going to be an update to the guys to do snoop them a new world order. And yes, I haven't done the things for them, but their strategies related to them remain the same and you don't need to see them a second time. Use something like Canada to get chip four goals so you can smash the Central American nations within any within a year, take Mexico, take everyone, take them all in the peace deal, there you go. Germany should be able to handle the Soviets, you can handle like the Middle East, the Baltics and so on. Japan should eventually get China and there you go, there's your achievement. Annex the US, then release them and there you go, You as long as you nuke LA, there you go, there's another achievement. Could I have done this better? Yeah, definitely. And since Germany and the Soviets are about to do some quite interesting wars, this could be a very interesting way to backstab them and eventually take them. So you know what, do let me know if you would be interested in seeing a follow-up where I do eventually go after them and take them down. Because I think that could be interesting. So comments say, yeah, I want to see part two to this. Who knows, maybe we could eventually realise Roman ambitions. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there is a part two, maybe there isn't. <laughs> but anyway, if there is any questions about this guide, do feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Always looking for new video ideas. But until next time, everybody, Bubble Zest here, and goodbye.